Okay, we're going to run through the process of copying uh, selected uh, contacts into a temporary contact folder and uh, saving that contact folder uh, out as a CSV file that you can then import to Gmail. So, first step here is to make your contact folder, and you can do that by by going up to File, New, and you want to make a new folder, and that folder should be Contact Items, and you give it a name. I'll just call it Temp2. Notice that it shows up here under your contact list, which I have highlighted. Of course, we're looking at this with Outlook 2007, so your Outlook might be different if you're not using that version. Pick your contacts that you want to come across. I'm just going to select three right here very quickly. I'm going to right mouse click on that and drop them into Temp2 as a copy because I don't want to lose them out of my, my primary area. If I click over to that, you'll see that I have three of those located there now. We'll go up to File, and where you want to Import Export. We want to export this to a file, and we're going to use a column of separated values, and I'm going to use Windows for that. I'm going to look for my Temp2. Notice it found it because that's where I was highlighted from, so I'll just leave it on there, but you will see that all the different choices are out there. I'll say next. I want to save that file as temp2 and I want to save it out to my desktop so it's easy to find. So now you have that whole uh, code line of where to, to put it out there. Next, export contacts from the folder and I'll say finish. So it just pushed it all out. We don't need Outlook anymore at this point, so I'm going to go ahead and shrink that down. And I'm going to move my Gmail screen back over. And we'll shrink this down so it kind of fits in. And we want to do another import. We want to browse out to that file. And I called that temp2. You see it right here. And I will tell it to open that. You can't see it here, but it says open right there. Next thing I'm going to do is tell it to put it into a group, and I'm going to stick it into a new group. And tell it to import. I should have a new group set up. Wants to know what the name of that group would be. I will gonna, I'm going to call it Temp2 just so I know where it is. I'm going to say OK. You'll notice that Temp2 does show up. Here they are. And I have just imported them in. So if we want to take a look at each individual one, you'll see that each one has whatever information was currently put in there for that, for that setup. And that's all there is to it. Hope that helped you.